Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are playing some more Divinity Original Sin on PC with console controls. And after the last video, I did a thing. An amazing thing. I love this game because of that. But we are going to move on now with the... That's just, that's just awesome. You don't think it's infected, do you? Come on now, I pulled her off you before. <clears throat> Let me just like walk through you. Because that's how video games are supposed to work. But... Whatever. I can walk through them, why can't I walk through you? Whatever. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and move on with the... Main quests, or... Yeah, the quests of the game. Alright, who are you? I have a job to do. Cures weak, blind, and mute. And infected as well. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Who are you? I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her. Even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. <laughs> I am Septimus, seventh son in a household of nine. Legionnaires all. Me. And two brothers of mine were assigned to Cecile from day one. Alas, both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead. But never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Rivalon, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder, but in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy, and indeed <coughs> a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. Jake's okay. murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicilia. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. You claim to possess evidence that implicates Lady Esmeralda in the murder of her husband? Well, let's have it then. A dagger caked in dried blood, found in the cellar of this very house. <coughs> That's very disconcerting. Though I'm sure my lady can explain. To set aside all doubt, I mean. This book has a dark reputation. Odd. Lady Esmeralda told me she's enamored with romances like The Knight in See-Through Armor and Princess Buttercup with the Blushing Bottom. Perhaps you had best ask her to explain. Huh. And what questions are those? <coughs> 
Lords above, grant me patience. You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my... Hold on, before I do that, let's do this. So I can't talk to her because you moved so out. So tell me, Septima, the hunter returns. I hope you are here to shop rather than sleuth. Summon undead warrior. Ooh. Lock picking and crafting. Okay. I mean... Okay, good enough. Uh, let's see here. Nope, on that one. I might grab these two just for that one guy. Is this equipped? No, I don't think it is. Ooh. Yeah, I might buy these. <clears throat> but it depends on what he has equipped already as well. Okay, I won't need this. I'll keep that. Okay, yeah, so I will actually buy those. Hold up. Um, buy this, and then I will sell. That. Done. I am Esmeralda. Wife of Jake, and now, alas, his widow. Poor man. We were both so young when we married. He so rich, and I so poor. But his one and only princess, just the same. <coughs> like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about <laughs> poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. Perhaps it is you who should explain your presence in my cellar. And the dagger? It's simply a butcher knife used by my late husband to cut meat. He did so love to cook the deer. Is it really a butcher knife you used to cut meat, though? What will you think of next? Accusing me of bashing him over the head with a frying pan? Oh, that horrid tome of ill repute. It isn't mine, it was Jake's. He was a politician, don't you see? Always on the lookout for plotting rivals. Always trying to be one step ahead. Really, I should have thought a source hunter of all people would appreciate my dear husband's sense for survival. Well, what do you want to know? She seems to be quite adamant about her innocence. We'll need to look for evidence if we want to prove she actually did the evil deed. <laughs> so 
Swain to find evidence that links her to her husband's demise or death. Okay. Can do. I am going to... Let's see here. Yep, yeah, figured as much. I figured as much. Right here. friend your upper chakras are in desperate need of a good scrubbing fortunately for you my homebrew tinctures will do the job or if you're in the mood for something a bit more electrifying one of my air scrolls might give your system just the shock it needs Do 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 Is it right here, I wonder? I think it is. No. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. I think I want to go here. Yeah, I do. Let's look around here for a while. Let's make a quick save. Oh man, with all of those. Oh man. I kind of want all of those. Because I can make potions out the yin yang with those. I mean, he is just sitting there. Oh, we're in a clear. Where's that at? Right there. Oh yeah, we're set on that one. All of those bottles are going to come in handy later on, I guarantee it. But, if I were to reduce the quantity of skull dust by a percentage of uh, two, hmm? perhaps the stability could be increased by as much as... <coughs> oh, a sauce hunter. <laughs> Imagine that. Quite a bit more petite than the last of your kind I encountered, aren't you? Yes, by nearly 20 centimeters of tibia, as my memory serves. But, uh, no matter, no matter. Even if it couldn't spare its heartier specimen, I'm sure the order sent the individual with the next highest probability of success. Yeah? <laughs> me? Why, well, uh, I'm uh, more than a little surprised you haven't heard of me. Perhaps I can jog your memory. It was I who cured the Duchess of Arata of her unslakable thirst. A simple pinch of a trope of belladonna in her morning tea. I who discovered that aging itself can be halted by a single application of Secuta du Glacier on the tongue. Hmm. 
Not to mention that it's been my guidance that has permitted my apprentice Evelyn to make quite a name for herself around Sicile of late. Yes, yes. <clears throat> if that's how we're referring to the secretive use of a revolutionary healing method, she refuses to share with her own master. Uh... She's in the other room as we speak. Perhaps you can prevail upon her to offer a demonstration. Okay, I will do what I can. Uh... She's gotten hold of a stone. Supposedly capable of fantastic feats of healing, but she won't let me take the briefest look at it. But she claims to have gotten the relic from a little northern town, uh, Silver Glen by name, and that an abbot there blessed it with the power to heal. Utter rubbish, I say. But with these blasted undead haunting the travel routes, I can hardly march up to Silver Glen to learn the truth myself. Well, she certainly possesses a critical eye and an exacting manner when it comes to making difficult medical decisions. I expect she'll be a very successful healer in her own right when the time comes. She is learning from the best, after all. Anybody? Neither of you cares to plead for his very existence? A mysterious healing stone? Interesting indeed. Nothing sets me on edge like inexplicable magic. <coughs> Let's do this real quick. Tone, soothing a that relic of Evelyn's, the so-called <coughs> healing crystal. I've seen one like it before, and by the Patriarch's pockets. It's a relic of source. One look at that gem will be enough to convince me it's no force of good, but a bloodstone through and through. So, which of you is more deserving of life? Come, make your case. I've come across such a stone before. It may be capable of healing, as the good doctor describes, but its origins are as dark as midnight. Bloodstone huh. is so named for a reason, you see. What starts as a pretty gem is corrupted by six sorcerers who infuse it with the blood of the slain. If that stone is what I suspect, I wouldn't trust Sicile's so-called healers any more than I'd trust a pyromancer on a wooden boat. Yes. Could have gotten far. <coughs> hmm. Anybody? Uh, Neither of you cares to plead for his very existence? Excuse me, this is a private sick room. Who in the name of the Seven do you think you are barging in here? Out, I say, right this instant. <coughs> Tenderfoot so long. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's this task. I'm just. Who am I to meddle with life and death this way? I'm an apprentice of the healing arts. Healing. But this decision feels like precisely the opposite. I have but one healing stone, you see, <coughs> and two direly wounded men who need it. <laughs> I've been racking my brain trying to decide on the best method to settle this grave situation, but perhaps... Yes, a curious relic indeed. I got it from a kindly abbot, Loik by name, in the northern town of Silver Glen. He is of a certain faith, the Immaculates, they call themselves that espouses the belief that certain stones can heal wounded flesh. Hmm. I myself was nothing if not skeptical of his claims, but something happened as he handed me the stone. A small cut on my finger instantly healed, leaving no trace of the wound. Needless to say, I was astounded. But it's strange. The stone is only good for a single use at a time before it reverts to a useless, inert state. It takes time to regain its magical properties, and I guard it cautiously. Uh, you are? 
Ah, uh, I thank you a million <coughs> for your help. Who have you decided should... There's no way Boris should receive that stone over Stephen. Think of Stephen's wife, his children, his grandchildren. Imagine the joy on his wife's face, his children's faces, when Stephen returns to the... No, we'll do as I say. Boris it is? Yes, I'll deliver the stone. I'm glad we'll get to save one man. <coughs> My heart breaks for the other. So... Wait, hold up, what? No, I know it's here. No, 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 this is highly oh, abnormal. This is... This is lightning! Oh, he lost Lucky Charm. Damn, that sucks. Oh well. Oh well. What happened? Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone. Somehow, it sent us flying into the stars. <coughs> um, yeah, I'll put that on for sure. And now we have Lore Master. Perfect. Wait, are we level three? I wonder. Hold up. No, but she is. So I can see what these. Do real quick, <clears throat> or I can hold off. I might hold off. No, actually, no. Hold on. You know what? No, I got an idea. Okay. Um. Let's make a. S no, 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 no. Send. Send. Let's make an actual save before we do this, and then send, send. Okay. Now let's try these out because she can use these. It used them all. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Oh. Um, okay. That is weird. Uh. So, it used them all. Let me see if I can get it to where it will allow me to use multiple. Split one. Send to Medora. Split one. Send to Medora. <clears throat> okay, so we have to do it that way. Because okay, that's fine. Whatever. But now we know what they do. Okay, so now <coughs> let's see. Which one does which? Okay, so that one does that. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So the stack of four is the Abilities. Fair enough. Okay. And then the stack of eight is this. Okay, now we know. Alright, now we know. And I will only use these if I need to. I will not go nuts with them. 
Those are only for if I need to use them. Wow. Can I have that much health, please? That would be wonderful. By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? Two Rivalonians here at the end of space and time? How very, very, very curious. So it does not pick up that there are three. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Proper introductions. Zigzags the historian at your service. It is my job to record <coughs> all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. As for how I got here, well, for a historian appointed by the gods <coughs> themselves, hopping to the end of time is as easy as one, two, three. How you got here, though? That's a rather more interesting question. On such a tiny and rapidly shrinking vestige of space and time, I wouldn't have expected to find a soul but my own shadow. Ah, at last a question I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flutter, it should have. Time ought naturally to have <coughs> an end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. Show, don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens, and feast your soon-to-be-terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. You know, I think that imp might be quite, quite mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. <laughs> You saw! Terrifying, isn't it? What's this? The portal! It's... it's... <laughs> the portal has become active! Fantastic! Astounding! Onward we should go! Okay. The portal! It's quite sprung to life, just like the long dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Those torches, a light! This portal active once more! It cannot be coincidence! Goodness me, how right you are! There's so much to take in, I've nearly forgotten. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself, the dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. <coughs> I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. Hmm. It's shrinking our future by the second, and if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen! Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes! The chronicler of time knows a pattern when he sees one. 
though I cannot say for certain if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... But why spoil the mystery? As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. After you, after you. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. You first, you first. But don't dilly-dally. Trying to figure out what button accesses the... Might be this right here. Who knows? Yes, just as I hoped. <coughs> he is. There it is. Come, stop, don't delay. And he's off. It seems the imp has spotted exactly who and what he'd hoped to find here. Hmm. Could it be, milady? The weaver of time, mother of history, author of all that has ever been. Indeed, Sir Imp, as surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you, so much to ask, so much to say. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? A stone? So, it was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is that- Not like this, no. Hmm. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. Mm. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone. I now know it to be called. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Source Hunters. It would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say. But I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. Starstone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch. Granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Hmm. Yes, 
Though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the Void's ravishment of our realm. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, the Void will consume us all. Indeed you must. <coughs> I <coughs> do not yet understand why. It seems that you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. Yet we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. Hi, Kitty. What's you doing, bud? Why, of course. That's what they were doing. I have recorded their doings, you see. Collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day. Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. That okay. shall never be, my lady. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will put a stop to it. First we mend the tapestry, then we stop the Void. Please, our most mysterious guest. Are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore what has been lost? Come, come! I've got something for you if you're up to the challenge. Not but a moment ago, we were hunting source in Rivalon, and now we're being told that we alone can prevent the end of time by way of some magical stones. What do you make of it? Mm, this one. It's quite a leap from finding a strange stone to placing the world's salvation on our shoulders. Pragmatic and romantic. don't know but ask her if she claims it is so perhaps she knows why before you go source hunter a final word once you return to Rivalon there will be someone waiting for you my agent my eyes and ears upon your world I hope he'll be able to help you as much as he can Time, I need hardly remind you, is of the essence. Okay, yes, that's how we get back. 
cool. So let's go to here where our stuff is. Source Hunters, I welcome you once again to the realm of Rivalon after your travels through the chasms of space. Nice to have found a shelter, wouldn't you agree? Where you can come to no harm. Cool. So I am going to do that. in the sea, but I've got the foulest of the lot on my racks. Then I'll buy... Slimy, reeking, rotting sea garden. Those for her. Then I will do this. In the sea, All right, cool. I've got the foulest of the lot of I know life. the imp historian has told you about his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is I. So now that you know of the alliance between me and Sir Zigzags, let us turn to the business at hand. Starstone. And I'll be delighted to give it. Dark webs are being woven around these parts, and it is my firm belief star stones are the flies the sorcerer spiders are trying to catch. <laughs> it can therefore hardly be a coincidence that Captain <coughs> Jake was a collector of the stones we seek. His foul murder and the plight of dying time must somehow be interconnected. That means the task you have been given remains crucial. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble upon Starstone along the way. While you were being lectured by our friend the Historian and the Grand Dame of Time, I snuck into his house and had a look around. The, that's where I saw them in a cave. Oh crap, I Me pressed... Slivers, but specks of Starstone... Uh... They lay there. Silent and innocent, though bloody murder may have been committed in their name. Don't Whatever. We all long for a sanctuary where our worldly troubles can be held at bay. A bed or a basket so snug it becomes, in a word, safety. But perhaps I speak only for myself. Not for veterans such as yourselves that by necessity call any patch of ground they rest upon home. Like any cat worth its salt, though, I deeply cherish a secret refuge unbeknownst to anyone. To be able to repose without a care is such a precious circumstance, save it all too seldomly. Slimy, reeking, rotting sea garbage. Let me phrase it like zigzags might. <coughs> a universe without time is like a pen without ink. A pointless instrument stripped of the potential of creation. It is void. It is death. It is... nothing. I'll not pretend to have all the answers. All that I understand, all that is happening here and out there among the stars. But I do know I'd rather err on the side of caution. If Zigzags worries, I worry. We are talking about a creature, after all, that has reclined among the divines as nonchalantly as you and I lays beside the hearths of home. Yeah, 
Oh, before you go, here. Take this teleporter pyramid. A handy toy indeed that Zigzags asked me to give to you. You'll need the other one too if you want to make use of its powers, but alas, I seem to have misplaced it. Don't worry though. Use this one here and it'll take you straight to its twin. Now that this matter has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you no longer. But rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting too. So if you spot a white cat during... All right, last bit of dialogue, and actually, um, where are my keys? Because I think I need a key. I need this one. <coughs> yeah, okay. Unknown to all time, are you? <laughs> Leave it to an imp to try to fill our minds with all manner of magical gobbledygook. I'll tell you who you are. Source hunters. Members of the most esteemed order in Rivalon. Here to find out and grind out every last speck of dark magic in the realm. There. The enigma is solved. Steady, <coughs> steady. We'll be leaving yes, as I'm soon sure as we're packed up. I knew you weren't the type to be taken in by such high-flying, pie-in-the-sky nonsense. Let the magical history imps fly their floating islands into the end of time for all we care. Then again, if what he says is true, and he really does know everything, he might be a mighty powerful ally to have. Imagine! <laughs> Sorry, Zack Six. I haven't fixed your space carpet, but if you could tell me where the bearded source dragon of Fire Lake has made its nest, I'd be obliged. <laughs> Useful indeed. I can't even smell the smell. All right, I am going to put a cut here in the video. If you enjoyed this longer video, as promised for this series. Feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.